Hey guys, how's it going today? What I want to show you in this tutorial is how to bring decals into Lumion. Uh, I think decals can be a really powerful tool, uh, especially where tiling can be such an issue in Lumion. Uh, the area that I personally always find tiling is the worst is with asphalt and also with um, with things like brick walls. Uh, so that's why I chose to do this little scene right here. Uh, we're just going to make a small streetscape, and I'm going to bring some different decals in, and I'm just going to kind of show you how... Uh, how, how it works because I think it's really cool. Uh, now there are two ways of doing this. The first is just drawing a square kind of, you know, wherever you want it to be. And this does work, except you're not gonna be able to sort of move that around inside your model. So if you're doing something like um, sidewalks, uh, even like street lines, but you wanna bring in like the high quality bridge ones, which is what I'm gonna get around to showing you. Uh, or if you just wanna do uh, things like uh, handicap bots, um, I think that using the uh, the decals is just really powerful because you get really, really realistic, um, I, I guess, just uh, like decal effects with that. So uh, first things first, you're just going to make something like this. Uh, you know, I'll put this uh, I'll put this up for for download on Google Drive, but uh, I, I think that most people can probably make this pretty easily. But uh, first things first, uh, I am going to come in here and I'm going to say you know, that looks like a pretty good area. So uh, I don't think you need to make this a group. We'll just kind of mark that there. And the if you see this flickering face, that's fine. You can fix that in Lumion, and it actually works really well. So now we're going to go in here, and we're going to click on this. Now, uh, for, what, uh, for this tutorial, what I did is I just went to Substance, um, I think they have some really great decals. I've left a couple links below. There is one free one that I'm going to be showing uh, showing off in this tutorial, so you can use that and play around with it all you want. Uh, the other one I want to show you is Bridge. So Bridge is a really powerful tool that has materials, uh, at, uh, just um, photo scanned uh, assets, uh, really great environment assets uh, from those photo scans. Uh, and then there's also these things called decals. So um, you can, uh, you can kind of tell that these are pretty cool. Like they all come with opacity maps so that you can just cut the parts that you want, but you can add in things like this. Like, I think that's a really good example of what you can put into a, a, a street scene to really add, um, you know, just kind of make that look more realistic for this tutorial. I'm just going to be using the painted stop sign. Uh, if you have an Epic games account, you can download all of these for free. Um, however, it's only licensed if you uh, are going to use it for Unreal Engine. So if you want to use this stuff commercially, you are going to have to get a subscription. Uh, it's not terribly expensive. Um, I think that, you know, I could be wrong about this. I think it's about 30 Canadian dollars a month, um, which I don't know, it's like just over 20 um, American dollars. But uh, I personally think they're really great. If you're just kind of doing this uh, as like a hobbyist, then I don't think you'd have a problem if you just download uh, or get a, an Epic Games account and then you just start downloading some of this stuff. That's what I did in this scenario. So once you find a decal that you want, however, you're going to go to download settings. Now, you want to get the texture resolution right. I'm going to use 4K for this because it's not a big scene. But if you are thinking of doing like a cityscape scene, I think that you might want to stick with two since 4K textures can really start to bog down your scene. So yeah, we'll also like to flip on the albedo, the displacement, the normal, the gloss, and the opacity map. Uh, for this to work, uh, we're going to be looking at something that I actually touched on in a separate tutorial, uh, the first one that I made, uh, and that's kind of how to bring opacity maps into Lumion. You absolutely need the opacity map for the decal to work. If not, you're just going to have a square with the decal like kind of shape on it, and that's not going to look good. So once you have everything here set up, you just go to download or in my case, re-download. So that should be all set up and good to go. Uh, now, if you go to export settings, then you should see your texture format, your JPEG should be fine. Texture resolution again, that's 4K. And that's the one that we, uh, we downloaded. So if you flip the other stuff, like they won't download because you haven't, uh, you haven't actually downloaded it in this part here. But, uh, then we're also going to go to the project location. So in this case, you just find where you saved your uh, you saved your assets. So I just come in here, I drop them, 
And uh, yeah, so it should look like this. Export to custom disk, export, your project location, and then uh, export as default. Now, that I don't really, that's no big deal. You can just uh, leave that as it is. I think that might just be for like profiles. So yeah, export that. And then if you come to bridge decals, you should have your stuff here. And I will now go into Photoshop and I will take the albedo map and then as again i'll link I'll, I'll put a link at the end of the video to uh the uh the other video that i did that kind of goes more in depth on this so I, I will go somewhat fast on this because I, I have already touched on it so if you're unsure of what i'm doing with photoshop right now by putting the opacity map into the albedo definitely go check out the uh video at the end of the video i guess or the uh, prior tutorial so what i'm doing here is i'm uh I'm taking the opacity map. You hit Control A, select everything. Uh, Control X to cut it. Then we go back to the albedo. We're gonna click down here. We're gonna add in a separate map. And then we're gonna do this. So you should see this. So what this basically means is that everything that's red is going to get cut out. Uh, we're gonna save this now. And that looks good. We'll say color opac. Save that. And then we're going to do the same. Actually, we're going to close this first. But then we're going to do the same thing for the normal and the gloss map. So normal and gloss. Oh, oops. I'm not sure what I hit, but I just, <laughs> I just closed it out. I've never done that before. Uh, regardless, though, um, what the, if you are unsure about this, I'll just touch on it quickly. So what this is doing is this is actually putting the opacity map inside of the albedo map. And that's going to tell Lumion what you want to be completely see-through. So once I get that set up, it's going to make it so that only this stop sign shows. And then you have um, just a really, it just looks like it's painted on your road, basically. And that kind of putting these sort of decals uh, into your scene will just help break everything up. So if there is tiling uh, on your road, then these kind of decals, it will just kind of uh, mask that. So we will get back on track here. And it should look something like this. Now I'm also gonna save this as a target, so I'll call this one Norm Gloss and make sure that it's the 32 bits a pixel. Fantastic. So now we'll go in here, make sure that that's clicked correctly. So we will make sure that we're in the right one. So we'll go to, I just went to bridge decals and we want our color opacity. And we also want our normal gloss. Now, as you can see, this is not exactly working in the way that we want it to. So we can come in here to flicker reduction and we're going to pull that up. So this is basically telling Lumion that this, the stop sign decal should be on top uh, of the asphalt. Uh, now we will, do I have this like upside down? There we go. <laughs> so I just needed to flip the face there. Um, yeah, and then it, it can be hard to click sometimes when you do it like this. It'd be very hard, apparently. Uh, so what I'm going to do for now is I'm just going to grab this. I'm going to drag this up for a second just so that we can uh, adjust it easier. Uh, we'll come back into materials. And I'll scale this up. So with this one, uh, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, all you really need to do is just make it so that it fits here. So I'll just put this down to 90. And then I'll scale this up. I think about there should be good. And then you can just kind of drag it around where it needs to be. Yeah, so that should be good. Now we can go and drop that back down in SketchUp so it'll work with us. Yeah, so then what you're left with is this. And uh, we'll go through here. And we just have to make sure that it, there's no shadow. Sometimes uh, if you're kind of dropping a plane on top of one another, it, it could be a very slight gap, and then you're going to get a shadow on the ground in Lumion, and you don't want that. So for this one, I'm actually going to use just a daytime scene. And yeah, so that, that worked pretty well. Like that looks like it's uh, 
you know, right on the road. But uh, I'm going to show you the better method now of the one that I recommend you use. As I said, this is fine for if you want to, like if it's not going to move, you know what the size is going to be. Basically only draw it on in SketchUp if you're using it for like road so or uh, for like, um, I guess like uh, street directions and things like that, like arrows. Uh, so open up a new file. Uh, now something that is important to know uh, about Lumion is if you make a like if you make a plane like this and you give it uh, a color i don't know we'll just give it a default one like this so if we make three different files with this same color on it lumion is only going to count um like it, it won't make them all the same uh texture so what you can basically do is just make one uh almost like decal patch which is what i'll call it here and then you can just copy it a bunch of times and once you bring that material in once then as long as you're organizing your import folder, you can just keep coming back to it. If you open up a different folder, you can just drag and drop it on. So for every decal that you get, you theoretically should only have to do it once as long as you make like an import tab called decals or something like that. Now, I don't do that. I typically just uh, have everything dumped into my import <laughs> folders because I just kind of put it down when it's, when it's needed. But if you're an organized person, then uh, that's the right thing to do. So... Um, no, no, I'm not in the right area here. So I want to save it right here. So decal patch. I'm going to open up uh, the folder here. I'm just going to control C, copy that a couple of times. I'll call that ditch packle two. Oh, decal patch two. And I'll call this one three. Perfect. So if we go back into Lumion now, then we can drag our first patch in. Uh, deco patch. Must have the old ones in there. So we will drop that there. And we'll move this over. Now, for this one, uh, we're going to be using, um, I think it's called like the large road crack. Um, yeah, large road cracks. So I've already gone through and I've done the Photoshopping for this. Uh, so I'm not going to go too much into that. Um, but I will just show you quickly the, uh, substance player. So this is what I love about substance is that when you download these decals, uh, you have, you get to have some great control over them. Um, just, uh, yeah, okay. I'm not blocking anything. So yeah, we can take the asphalt color. We'll make that a little bit darker. As you can see, that's kind of changing in real time. Then we also want to come down here and I don't want, you know, I want this to be not too dark, but something like that. Like, I think that's going to match our asphalt a lot better. Then you come up here and export as bitmap. You just choose the ones that you need for this one. You would need base color, normal gloss and the height map, and then the opacity map. And you just come in here and then uh, find your folder, save it in there. I save it as a TGA. Um, and then that uh, that's really all you have to do with that. So, yeah, you get to kind of play play around with that. And uh, you get a lot more control over it. Plus, you can just choose whatever resolution. Um, probably shouldn't have hit 8K there. Because this uh, I find Substance Player really slows. Um, it just slows down. Even if you have a good computer, uh, it can just take a lot. So I've already gone through and I've done uh, all the Photoshopping. Uh, for this, so I already have the uh, color opacity map. Uh, I will drop that in now. So come in here. Uh, large road cracks, color opacity. Now I think what's going to happen, yeah, it's going to come in like kind of small. So we're going to scale this up. And like I said, we want it to be about here. And then we're going to just offset it and drag this down. So I think we actually need to make this a little bit smaller. That should be good, I think. You just got to play around. Like I said, you should only have to do this once. So, yeah, now that that one's in, we will uh, come up here and we'll also add in the, the normal gloss. And that's really starting to come together. The next thing I'll do is I'll add the height map in. The height map I find uh, to be really important for these um, just because it it can kind of cut into the asphalt and really give it like a realistic look as you can see like right there And I wouldn't use it too much because it doesn't I don't find it's too amazing like it kind of uh, like it can go to ship pretty fast 
But uh, yeah, just put like a little tiny bit on it. it gives it some realism. And yeah, so that you know that's that's really looking good. You don't see the shadows on this. As I said, if there are shadows, you can either use like flicker reduction or you can just make sure that it's sitting right on top of the asphalt. Uh, and just a, a little effect that I kind of want to show here is that if you put precipitation on, when you have a height map in like this, uh, it actually will take that into account. And so uh, certain areas of your deco are going to be submerged while other areas, um, are, are kind of sticking out of it. And this one isn't a great example, but if you have one where it's like, you know, uh, like a big uh, chunk of the road is gone and like some areas are higher and some areas are lower, you really can see that. So it's fantastic for animations. Um, now we will import the next uh, deco patch. And so here you're going to be able to kind of see why, um, why I did that. Because now we have that same patch, but as you can see, this one's still not changing. This one, even though I think if you hover over them, concrete block layers and concrete block layers, they're going to have the same, uh, they have the same name, but they're not taking up the same material ID. Because if there's a, if it's imported as a different material or a model, then Lumion will not assign the same thing. However, if I come back to here and I take, I think this one, decal patch one, then now we have a decal here that we can just scale up. We can drag this over here. We can maybe rotate it a bit. And then, yeah. So you, you get a lot more control there. And uh, so that's kind of what that what that looks like there. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you the other ones now. Uh, we will come in here. And as I said, I've already kind of need to Photoshop this one again. So I must have deleted that by accident. Um, it's a lot of flipping around in this tutorial, so I apologize for that. Uh, I did want to go through uh, quite a few sort of decals just to show you how quick you can uh, kind of spruce up your scene. So yeah, with this one, base color in, opacity map, cut that out, alpha channel, pop it in. There you go. So all this red stuff's getting cut out. Fantastic. Save as. We want to make sure it's a targa, manhole cover, color, pass. 32 bits, great. Now we're gonna close that without saving them because we don't want our files to get altered. Normal map, glossiness, control A, control X, alpha map, in, there you go. Now we have the gloss map, save as, normal, gloss. Yep, it's in the right folder, great, 32 bits. And that should be good enough, we won't close it for now. Uh, and then we'll come in here. And that's not the right folder. Just make sure that I've been messing that up a lot with this. Just make sure you got the right folder because it, it changes on me every time it feels like. So we'll take that and manhole cover, normal gloss. Uh, I'm going to scale up this uh, plane a little bit more. And that's, that's what uh, I think is superior to doing it where you actually put it in SketchUp is you just have a more control over how big this is going to be. So I think we need to showing up backwards right now. Let me just double check something here. I think it's just yeah. So it's a map imported. So once we uh, bring it in like this, that's the that should work. So you just want to get it so it's like about here. And then you can uh, just adjust this. What's once you get the uh, once you get the map sort of uh, sort of showing the right way, then you can just scale this um, the actual uh, the actual patch just because it's it's gonna keep your mapping uh, in the correct place. So like examples, like you can just make this bigger or smaller here. So we will bring that here. Uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of relief to this just because I want it to have over pop maybe turn the gloss down a little bit more and we're gonna also add that height map in just because that's um that's so important height and we're not going to give this much like we're going to be giving it just like like a hit shift for this so that it doesn't change much but just a little bit it's easy like it goes it's gone pretty fast like we don't want that we just want it to uh slowly like that so it just gives it a little bit yeah so that's looking uh pretty good um, I will get rid of this effect. And then I think if we take the real skies, you should be able to see some, uh, yeah, so you can see that reflection right there. 
so that's awesome. So yeah, it's it's basically cooked right into the uh, the road there, baked in, and uh, yeah, so that's that's awesome. And uh, I actually think I'll just turn the glossiness down a little bit more on that because it's a little too much. Yeah, but that uh, that's pretty good. And it, you know, if you want to spend more time messing around in Substance Player, making sure that that's uh, that's exactly how you want it, then uh, you can do that. But yeah, so that that right away is like. Uh, you know, this this adds kind of a lot to the road. Like y now you can't even really notice the fact that there's tiling in it. And y if you're going to do something like through bridge and you can download tons of um, decals, as long as you're willing to set them up, there's really no limit on how you're going to do it. The last thing that I am going to do here is I'm just going to throw some stuff on the, uh, the brick wall here. So one of them, uh, I will just take is this. Yeah, that's the one. So we're going to rotate this. So that is up here. And as you can see, so this side is not uh, see through, but this side is. So just be aware of that. And we will drag this over here. We don't, we just want it so that it's just poking through. Cool. Then we drag this up a bit. We are going to have to get this a little bit closer because this will cast a shadow, I think. So hold shift and just shift there. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And there is one more that I want to show you guys. Uh, so let me just make sure that it's all set up correctly. Yeah, so this is the spray tag one. So I'm going to have to pull this into Photoshop. But this one is free. So... Um, we'll open it up quickly. There is a, uh, there's a couple quick examples like cat head is the one that I did, but there's also like scribble and crown. Uh, I think that there is a way to actually bring in your own, uh, cause it says your tag. I, I didn't mess around with it just cause I didn't want to take too long in this, but I do think that I'm going to come back to this in a future video and kind of teach you how to put your, uh, your logo into it. So I think that'd be kind of cool that if you're doing sort of like, a I guess like sort of like a beat up road to be able to put your uh, company logo or something like that in uh, in graffiti just to add uh, or even just your own signature. Uh, I think that'd be kind of cool to be able to add that uh, sort of if you're just doing a, like a really nice scene, you can throw that in somewhere. So, yeah, uh, I will have to do Photoshop one more time, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, it, it is kind of I guess it's good to show people because this is so important for Lumion that uh, you really want to know how to do this. And as I said, I'm going to link that that video that goes more uh, in depth of like um, why you have to do that. So color pass and 32 bits. Cool. Now we close that down again and we take the normal glossy. Oh, that one didn't work. Take it in here. Control A, Control X to cut it. Open up the alpha. Control V to paste. And then that uh, should be it. This one maybe wasn't as necessary to do the gloss and the normal, but uh, it's just a good habit to get into. Normal gloss. Okay. And I don't think we'll need a displacement for this one. Uh, but, yeah, so let's bring in that final uh, decal patch that we had, decal patch 3. That was a cool. And this one we're just going to put right up on the wall, so I'll just kind of adjust it. Um, I, gotta, I can't see it. Hold on. And it should be fine there. Do you think I actually need to spin it all the way around? Yeah, there we go. That's the side that we want. Just till it clips through. Yeah, and as I, I did mention this before, but, like, y you don't have to set this up more than once. Like, if you find your logo uh, and it works, then, um, or even just any other deco, like, once you do it once, just save it correctly, and then you can come back and drop it anytime. So, you know, if you get 10 decals of just sort of, like, street cracks and stuff like that, then it doesn't take you long at all. You can put them on curbs. You can do all this different stuff just to really add a lot to your scene without um, w without doing much work. And it, it, it just... 
I don't think it really increases the render times any more than like a texture would. Um, and yeah, let's, uh, let's bring that in and finish this off. So the color opacity. And uh, sorry if the, <laughs> sorry if the, there's a fly buzzing around here. So sorry if that's uh, really loud on the uh, really loud on the microphone. I've been trying to <laughs> I've been trying to swat them this whole video, but I can't uh, can't get them. And we'll switch that up. 180. We'll maybe drag this over a little bit more. Uh, I'm gonna make this tiny bit smaller so we get the whole cat in there yeah okay um, the other thing is that we can you can actually change the color here yeah so I think if we make this like blue uh, I am gonna drag this down a little bit more and then make it bigger so yeah um, that is basically the tutorial. Um, as you can see, we just pulled in some, uh, sort of some quick graffiti, some quick cracks, and, um, we'll just render that out quickly just so you have an idea of, uh, how it looks, but I'm pretty happy with that as, um, you know, once you do it once, you won't have to worry about it and, uh, you can just really build a nice deco library. Um, you know, I think that the sky is kind of the limit with this, um, I really recommend that if you don't have an Epic Games account, you go make one and then uh, use it to get the the uh, downloadables from uh, Bridge. Now, as I've said before, you can't use it for commercial uh, uses unless you actually are subscribed and you've uh, purchased that uh, model or decal, unless you're using it for Unreal Engine. If you are using it for Unreal Engine, which uh, I don't think most of you would be, but uh, if you are, then you're allowed to, it's basically uh, it's fair game on any other materials and models and things like that. So I'm going to go in and in, um, in a future tutorial, I'm going to show you how to bring in uh, more mega scans. Um, I had actually planned on doing that uh, before um, I made uh, the decals one. But uh, since uh, someone had asked me um, just kind of how that's done, I figured I should speed this one up. But um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great night and uh, I really hope that this helped you. Thanks.